Hey, what's up? This is Joel here at the Chicago Music Exchange, and today we're showcasing for you a very, very cool effect, one that I actually own and I love, so I figured I would do the demo on it. This is the DLSFX Rotosim, which I uh, assume the name implies it means a rotary simulator. <laughs> It does very, very cool, authentic, Leslie-type rotating speaker effects. Tons and tons of options. We'll just go over like the ins and outs in the back first. You've got a single mono input, you've got a stereo input, you've got mono out and you have stereo out. So you can go one guitar in, out to two amps with it. You can do two instruments in, two amps. You can do two in, one amp. So basically you've got two ins, two outs, um, an expression pedal input. So you can use an expression pedal to real-time control the speed or the rate of the, uh, the rotary speaker effect. But you also on the front of it here, you have a fast slow button on the left. The right button is obviously your bypass on off switch. So on the left here is your fast slow button, which lets you automatically ramp up or down between the fast and the slow speeds. And you can set your ramp time here with the leftmost knob to uh, control how long that ramp takes. So it can be instantaneous all the way on the left or a little bit longer, more natural kind of uh, ramping up on the right side. You have your slow speed and your fast speed, so you can set how fast and your slow the speeds are that you're going between with this guy. And you got your tweeter level and your bass rotor level, which basically let you control the intensity of, again, the tweeter or the bass rotor. Last but not least, there is a gain control for the onboard analog overdrive, which sounds really natural. It's not super gainy, but it kind of does, again, like the, the rotary speaker overdrive effect, and you can turn it on or off. <laughs> There are a bunch of internal trim pots, which I had no idea about, and they're all really, really cool. You have uh, uh, controls for input gain and output gain on all four of your ins and outs. You also have a, a wet-dry mix knob, so you can, I think in factory setting, it's about halfway between your signal and the rotary signal, and you can make it as heavy on the rotary or as light as you'd like. Um, there's kind of like a color knob, which colors kind of like how the throbbing happens, whether it's more liquid or it's a little bit drier. There's also a, uh, a bass rotor lag knob, which lets you control how far behind the bass rotor lags from the tweeter. So you can get some really, really dramatic, um, you know, rotating speaker effects. But between all the stuff inside and the stuff on top, it, uh, it will do a lot. It kind of does the Stevie Ray Vaughan thing. It'll do a lot of really cool, I actually, use this as my chorus, I guess. I use it, I'll go slow for my chorus and have it set kind of like a nice even rate and then I'll kick it back on to the fast speed to do a little bit quicker stuff.
what we're playing through today. I got a brand new RB6 from Fano. This is a cool one. Maple board, two Lawler Imperial humbuckers. Super light. Um, for some extra dirt, I've got the Jam Pedals uh, Tube Dreamer Plus, which is like uh, their Tube Screamer Plus, a little bit of a gain boost. Very, very cool pedal. And then we're going through divided by 13. Overall, super cool pedal, built like an absolute tank, powder coated, it's never going to look dirty. Um, it's all built, designed, hand put together here in the United States. And they're very, very cool pedals, you should check them out. They make a couple other ones too, which we'll be doing demos on, but this one is my favorite, this is the Roto Sim. Mm -hmm. 